you can absolutely model your submission for the bridge competition in Onshape. At its simplest, it can just be a few sketches and a few extrudes, and you can have a structure very similar to what is pictured here. So some advantages of doing this are to know exactly what your bridge is going to weigh before you make it. Weight is a huge factor in this specific competition. So by modeling up all of your balsa wood structure beforehand, you can pretty quickly figure out if you're gonna need to cut weight to try and get the correct ratio of strength to overall bridge weight. It also makes it really easy to plan out what you need to go purchase because you can very quickly calculate the different lengths of the different sizes of balsa wood profiles you have. And if you're really looking to take it to the next level, you can run some advanced simulations on the model that you create inside of Onshape. So let's do just that. Let's hop over into Onshape and take a look at a bridge. So here it is. So like I said before, the trick to making your bridge is going to be good sketching practices. So if we just take a look at sketch one, you can see that all of these different profiles are sketched out, very clearly defined as what the you know square profile is gonna be there, have our angles defined. This is a little bit of a complicated sketch, but, and like I'll mention later, if you use the learning center to the best of its ability, then you will probably be able to figure this out pretty quick and be able to make some excellent sketches of your own and you'll be able to come up with some awesome bridges just like this. But as you can see, it's not all that many features to end up with a full bridge structure. While we don't have time to show it fully in this webinar, it is worth saying that there is a wonderful connector app in our app store up here, and it is on scale solve. This is free for all of our education users. It does take its own amount of you know, getting to know it and learning how it works. But once you learn how on scale works, it's pretty simple to run a you know FEA simulation on it, you know a mechanical stress simulation, and we did one earlier, uh, and we wanted to see you know what would this bridge look like, where would the stress concentrations be? We have a picture of it here, so you can see that with the with the weight hanger up there on the top, those two structural members are going to be taking a lot of load and just they're going to be under a lot of stress. That's pretty expected, but you can also see that these two are not, or I guess these four structural members are not under a ton of stress, but these smaller ones up near the top of the bridge, they are under quite a bit of stress. So, you know, maybe this could inform our decision that for version two, we'd actually want to remove some material here and put some of it up into here to try and have a more even loading situation. So those are some quick insights into why modeling your bridge in Onshape can have some great benefits and will benefit you when you're trying to make the lightest and strongest bridge possible.